Kennedy. Good morning, General. Good morning, Senator. There's a lot that I couldn't get to. General, I'm, I'm looking at this letter from one of your if you want it, you U.S. attorneys we'll come back and ask questions. from October of this year, but it's your where he wrote to the uh, Montana Attorney General, all the county attorneys, and all the sheriffs in his jurisdiction, suggesting ways that parents could be prosecuted at school board mayor, uh, for, for appearing at school board meetings in accordance with your directive. And one of the uh, suggestions made by your U.S. attorney is parents can be prosecuted for repeated telephone calls, not threatening okay. anyone, just on the theory that repeated telephone calls could be harassment. Really? Senator, I haven't seen that memorandum. I've, I've tried to express as clearly as I can here. I, I, I heard you, General, but this is one of your U.S. attorneys. Again, I haven't seen... Isn't that special? Senator Durbin goes to vote. He didn't vote in the second vote. Who needs to go? General, you're just a vessel. Right. Sure. Well, let, let, let me tell you what I'm talking about. With respect to the National School Boards Association letter, you're just a vessel, aren't you? I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I signed this memorandum. I worked on this memorandum, and this memorandum is my memorandum. Well, let me, let me tell you what I mean. We, we know that the National School Board Association was upset because parents were coming to school board meetings to object to the teaching of critical race theory. We know that uh, in drafting the letter, the National School Board Association collaborated with the White House for several weeks. They worked on it together. And we know that the National School Board Association, once the White House and the, the association were happy with the letter, the National School Board Association sent the letter to the White House, and the White House promptly called you and said, sick the FBI on parents at school board hearings. And that's what I mean. That, the, 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 the White House is the prophet here. You're just the vessel. Isn't that correct? Senator, I did not speak with anyone from the White House as while well. I worked on this memorandum. This memorandum reflects my views that we need to protect public officials from violence and threats of violence, while at the same time protecting parents' ability to object to policies. Right. I, I get that. I've heard your with. testimony. Were you worried that you would be fired if you didn't issue the memorandum? <laughs> Senator, I'm not <laughs> I, I, I decided on this memorandum on my own. I don't care. Um, I, I said from the very beginning, I've taken this job uh, to uh, protect the Department of Justice, to make independent determinations with respect uh, to prosecutions and investigations, and I will do that. Okay. I'm not I'm not, about sorry to interrupt, fire. General, but I don't have much time. Um, now, when you when you got the letter that from the White House that that prompted your memorandum to give the FBI new duties in making sure our parents aren't dangerous domestic terrorists, you didn't investigate before you issued your your memorandum the incidences cited in the letter, did you? Look, I took the, uh, a statement by the National Association, which represents thousands of school board members, um, when they said that they were facing violence and threats of violence, and when I saw in the news media reports... Of yeah, but you didn't investigate the incidents in the letter, did you? No, there were, uh, this is the first step. This is an assessment step. It comes before investigations. The, the purpose right, is before memo. you issued your memo, you didn't investigate the incidents. The, mem the memo is inte intended to begin assessments. It is intended and, to And ask. in fact, m most of the incidents 
in the letter were, did not involve threats of violence, did they? I think that's correct. Most of them did not, yeah. and they would not be covered by either federal or state law. I agree with that, and they would be protected by the First Amendment. But threats of violence are not covered by the can, can we agree that we have thousands, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of kids growing up today who are more likely to commit a crime than, uh, than, than, and go to jail than own a home and get married? I don't know about the comparative statistics. I do know there are too many people who are committing crime. And one of the reasons for that is lack of parental involvement, isn't it? I think parental involvement is essential. I think it's the key both to bringing up good kids. So, uh, so why do you want to issue a memorandum listing incidents that you didn't investigate my, my that anybody who has any fair-minded knowledge of the world knows is going to have a chilling effect on parental involvement with respect to what their kids are learning at school. I just want to be clear again, Senator. My memorandum did not list any of those incidents. Come on, General. We both know this had a chilling effect. You don't think there are parents out there in the real world that said, oh, my God, maybe we, we, we shouldn't go to the school board meeting. There will be FBI agents there. My, my we live in a – this isn't long, long land. I tried to make clear – as clear as I could, and now I have subsequently made clear in every public statement on the matter. Your, your actions and, made it clear, General. Let me ask you 